Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. Today I have a very exciting P Bandai release from Gundam 0083 Phantom Bullets. This is the MS06F Zaku 2 Gunner type version anime. Now, this is a mobile suit I really did not think we would get in figure form. Much like the Blossom that came before it, all of these are from the same Phantom Bullets photo novel, and this is a member of the Xeon Remnants team on the moon that was trying to attack the Blossom and its GM command team, as well as bombard a Federation base. So this Zaku Gunner type is a modified F-type Zaku that utilizes a cannon from a Zommel to uh, do long-range bombardment. The Gilgug Jaeger that's here is the uh, reloader for the cannon, because the Zaku's purpose is simply to aim and fire the cannon and then you have the rangefinder Zaku that locates targets and also engages in closer range combat in case they get found, which was exactly the case. But the Gunner Zaku is a very interesting mobile suit. We've never had it as a figure before, and I'm very excited to finally have it in figure form. And it's, it's a really interesting design. We'll do some comparisons. There's some elements of the Zaku 2 F2 in this mobile suit. The weaponry is really interesting, and of course, the giant Zommel cannon. So let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. So let's take a look at the heavily modified F-type Zaku here. You have the uh, head here. You can see the mono eyes been changed out for this two camera system. You have a larger camera on this side with a uh, translucent pink uh, lens on it. And then you have a green lens camera over here and some armor plating. Head will come down about that far. It'll come up a good amount there. And, of course, it'll do a full 360. On the arms, you have this large um, piece here. This is where the gun actually rests on the shoulder. Um, it swivels around like so, so it kind of gets out of the way of the arm if necessary. On this shoulder, you have this clip that doesn't actually do anything. And then it has typical Zaku articulation, so you have a rotating joint up here. You have another rotating joint at the elbow, and then you have elbow articulation, which is really nice, and double ball jointed hands, as well as this uh, little spinning wrist piece, which is kind of annoying, but present on all the Zaku 2s. Arms will come up about that far on both sides, which is pretty nice because of the swiveling gun piece. And they'll, of course, do a full 360. You do have chest flex. If you can see it there, arms will come out quite a bit. I didn't mean to pull the shoulder armor off. I guess it just slides right off there. So it'll come out a decent amount. So good articulation in the arms, just what I'd expect. You have a hard point here. Um, in the waist, we have the uh, torso will come forward about that far. Won't really come back at all. Uh, you hear the pitter-pattering of my dog walking around. The skirt armor is same as the Zaku 2. You have ball joint here, hinge here. This is fixed. You have a hard point for storage and you have bazooka storage back here. You have hard points on either side of the uh, backpack for storage. You have effect part capability for the uh, um, thrusters. Pretty cool. The legs do that weird forward swivel thing that version anime likes to do. You have um, some thigh swivel. The armor kind of gets in the way, but decent amount. The legs will come out about that far, and they will come forward about like that with knee articulation. Again, typical Zaku 2 articulation. The feet will come down about that far and up with toe articulation, and then you get a little bit of side to side, and there are um, thruster compatibility here and a hard point for the missile pod here. Now on this leg it's a little bit different. You have this um, large knee piece and foot piece so the toe articulation actually still functions here and then this knee piece is uh, hinged somewhat and this allows the Zaku to have a like a kneeling pose. So pretty cool. Uh, most of these parts are just standard um, Zaku 2 parts, there are some modifications that have been done to this. 
I think it's colored in line with the rest of the 0083 stuff. It's not super detailed, um, but it looks nice. I think it looks like a pretty cool figure. I think they did a good job on it. Um, in term, like I said, in terms of like the colors, uh, the cameras, things like that. The build of it's accurate as well to the uh, photo novel design. So pretty cool. Let's take a look at what this one comes with. All right, we can get this out of the way first. We have a version anime hand rack, gun hands, heat hawk hands, and two different sets of posing hands. The Zaku this time around gets gray colored hands instead of the typical green color that we would see with an F-type. First weapon we're going to take a look at is the missile pod. This is a three-tube missile pod, same one that comes with the Zaku 2 figure. And then you have the uh, leg attachment piece. Now uh, I'll show you how to put this on because I know it's been a while since we've seen this. You have a um, hard point right here. You can kind of see on the inside there. And you have one at the back. These are going to plug into the hard point on the inside of the leg that you can see there and on the back of the leg. We only have a missile pod for this leg. There is not one for this because of the armor pieces. Let me go ahead and assemble this. And so the first thing I do is place the uh, back piece on the back of the leg. It It's not going to stay through this whole process, but it kind of gives you a starting point. So from here you just drop this piece on and then get this one connected. And then this plugs into the missile pod, you can see mine, got, mine did not get cut well there, but this will just plug right into itself, and hypothetically, it'll fit together. There we go. Oh, almost. This came apart. Let's see if we can get that back together. There we go. And that's how that is assembled. There are effect parts that can go with this that came with the Zaku 2 and I think the J-type Zaku, if I'm not mistaken. So I might be I might be mistaken about that. The little missiles are removable as well, I believe. Um, I don't remember if they are or not. This one, they might be static. But anyway, this is the same missile pod as the uh, Zaku 2. So let's take a look at the other weapons. So the next thing we have here, we have two uh, Sturmfausts, which are based on the real-world real Panzerfaust. These are, I believe, the 0083 uh, version of them. We've gotten a couple different kinds in the Robot Spirits line, but they're just one piece. Uh, actually, I think they're, they're two piece? No, they're one piece. They're one piece uh, anti-mobile suit rocket launchers, essentially. And then we have a uh, unique storage piece here, which is pretty cool. And this fits on the side skirt armor. So it just fits into this hard point here. And then you can connect these on here to store them, which is pretty nice. The missiles are removable as well. I managed to uh, push one out. So just like the Zaku 2 release, they're completely removable, which is pretty cool. Next, we have the uh, large shield here. Since the Zaku 2 doesn't have a conventional shoulder shield, it has a rotating handle, and uh, it's just a really beefy shield with a Xeon emblem. It has these uh, spikes down here to plant it into the ground or plant it into the chest of another mobile suit. Now you can see on the side here, this appears to be a chunk of a battleship hull. You can see all the rivets in here. So I think they just cut out a uh, destroyed battleship hull and refitted it as a shield, which is pretty cool. And it's actually fairly light too, which is nice. And then lastly here, the most exciting thing is the giant Zommel cannon. So you have a forward handle here that swivels and I believe it will, yeah, it'll move um, side to side, it's hinged, which is nice. The whole cannon will rotate over and come backward, and that is the uh, full cannon here. And we have a handle back here that is removable and m mainly fixed in place. And you can remove this piece here 
and this is what uh, connects it and then you have this little if you remove that piece you want to uh, move this little hinged part over so that that bar is connecting but very very cool huge weapon and of course we have to compare it to the Zommel's cannon. So you can see it's basically the same mold. The barrel is only different because of the uh, handle up here. But right here in the middle, this is essentially the same. The only thing that changed, of course, is the mounting system. You can see that's a little bit different. Going back here, the only difference is the handle here where the Zommel does not have that. You still have the uh, flap that opens up on both, so the effect parts that come with the Zommel are applicable with the Gunner Zaku, which is pretty cool. And then on the other side here, it's kind of the same idea. Everything's identical, of course, except for the mounting system. I'm surprised they didn't keep this uh, large uh, shield on it for the Zaku Gunner. But overall, really, really cool, and I like that they maintained the same design. So real quick I wanted to show what it looked like with the Zommel's effect parts on it. I didn't use the bottom effect part just because um, the cannon was changed from an auto-loading cannon that the Zommel had to a manually loaded cannon so it wouldn't eject that spent casing automatically so the uh, fire effect that would come out of the bottom I don't think is applicable. Plus um, you'll bend the uh, end of this if you put it down there on the floor and I don't want to do that but otherwise all the effect parts look really nice on this um, everything works really well the Zaku can kneel as it's supposed to and it's uh, gonna be quite the uh, quite the display piece alright so I have the uh, gunner Zaku here which is very tall even with the cannon folded up and mounted on the back I have the uh, Zaku 2 real marking version, because why not, and the uh, Zaku 2 F2 commander type. All out to do comparisons. So the uh, body of this is mostly a Zaku 2, so we can take a look at uh, the two of these. The legs are identical, of course, aside from the armored pieces here. Um, the actual legs themselves are the same, as are the feet. So we'll have to be kind of careful with this. This one's much heavier than the other one. The rear skirt armor is the same. The backpack is the same as well. Side skirt armor is identical. But coming back over to the front, the uh, front armor, uh, the, uh, the front piece here is much bulkier and is different. So you can see, you can see there the difference. The uh, front skirt armor is different as well. You can see it's more elongated and um, not as flush as the regular Zaku 2. Chest has changed quite a bit. Um, this is an armor piece reminiscent of the F2 design, which is why I brought out my Zaku 2 F2. Arms are identical. Um, I believe they're identical aside from the shoulders, of course, are completely different. And the head is different. Um, somewhat the same, but Obviously, the front of it, the armor piece, is different. And then here you can see the uh, mounting system for the cannon as well, just because. So pretty cool there. And then moving over to the F2 type, you can see it's got a beefier chest armor, but it's uh, along the same lines there. I think everything else is different between these two. I don't see any real similarities just because of, we lost the magazine there, just since this is an F2 type. So, but pretty cool overall. Um, the Gunner Zaku will stand on his own, uh, just because he has the advantage of using the gun as a giant rest, which is pretty cool. So overall, uh, definitely one of my favorite Zaku figures already. So the uh, Gunner Zaku is not the cheapest Zaku I've ever purchased. This one came out to $67.89 before shipping. But hopefully you can see why. It's got quite a few weapons, uh, some of which are new, some of which are, are not, but they're tried and true weapons. And then it has a massive 
cannon, which is just too cool. It's a Zaku figure, so it's modular. You can give it weapons from, I'm sure you own other Zakus, especially if you're watching this channel. And uh, it's just a really cool design. It's an interesting, very specific design made to do just one type of thing, but it's made to be part of a trio um, that unfortunately encountered a Gundam and it didn't end well for them. But the design is something I've known about, like I said, since I was a kid and something I've been really fascinated with. And I'm glad to uh, be able to get all three mobile suits in this team, the Zaku Rangefinder and the Gelgu Jaeger uh, Doug Custom, which will be pretty cool coming down the line later on. But for now, I have the Blossom and I have this Zaku. I really don't have any complaints about it. It's a solid figure through and through. It's a great display piece. Um, it'll definitely steal the show on your shelf for a while. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something definitely worth picking up because I'm sure as a P-Bandai, this will get expensive fast. So let me know in the comments if you picked this one up, what you think of it. And uh, if you picked up the whole Phantom Bullets lineup like I did. So thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you later.